Welcome back, Ant Fishers. I'm Bill Jardopoulos, the host of the Ant Fish Fishing Vlog Series. This video is uh, for all you fans out there that love uh, fishing for bass and love uh, catching bass and uh, tweaking certain things when you're out there trying to increase your odds of catching bass. Uh, one of the top producing baits that I've fished for with bass um, over the years has been a flipping jig. And I'm going to take my trailer off for a second just to show you what the flipping jig That's a flipping jig. Um, it may look like a uh, spinnerbait or a version of a spinnerbait. It's got a hook. Uh, these little fanned out uh, plastic pieces there. If I can get all the skirt out of the way, there we go. It's a weed guard. Um, when you're pulling it back, it's pretty weedless. You, can, you know, you might uh, want to flare some of these out a little bit to give you a little bit more coverage, but as you can see, they're coming uh, above that hook there. So it's pretty weedless. It will get hung up in the thick, thick, thick cover. Um, but for the most part, it is pretty weedless. And uh, that there is just a little rattle chamber. But um, these flipping jigs are uh, unbelievable when it comes to bass fishing. You're always going to want to fish these with a trailer. Uh, that could be a, a, a little tiny chunk of some sort. Uh, I like to fish mine with uh, various creature baits. That just there is a, a creature bait, a scented creature bait. There's the hook. I'll put the creature bait in on what colored side I want actually exposed. I'll go right down to where it curls and then I'll pop it through. And what I do with this one, because I'm lucky enough and fortunate enough to have the uh, rattle chamber on this jig here, is I run it right up to the top. And the advantage of doing this, there's the actual, sorry I've got a bug on me, um, there's the actual flipping jig. So as you can see it looks like a, uh, you know, a crayfish. This, these, uh, arms here will dangle upward, this will sit, and this all flails. And the beauty of why I like having a full body uh, on there is it goes right down. So if all these little strands here flail around and the fish see a full body under there, uh, there's a really good chance you're going to end up uh, smacking some fish. It ends up being quite a big bait, as you can see when you have a full craw, full craw on there. I can do this a little differently as well if it's uh, earlier in the season or all of a sudden you notice that they stop hitting that larger size. Uh, I'm just going to fold this over for this video purpose. I can actually rig this now, cut this craw in half and rig it. So I only have a little portion and again just the arms and a little bit of the head tentacle sticking out of the bottom. Um, you may want to do that. Uh, plastic baits, soft plastic baits are pretty easy to uh, tear up. So, you know, you may want to just pick your half point, rip it or cut it with a knife and then feed that on. So now you've taken off maybe an inch, inch and a half of that size, overall size of the bait. Instead of it dangling that big, it'll now, now dangle that big. Uh, and it, it could be that difference that the fish need to see all of a sudden. Um, but I've had people uh, inquire with me about flipping jigs. Um, you know, it's just, again, it comes with anything else, building some confidence, fishing them. But um, fantastic bait for bass, uh, flipping those docks, flipping uh, structure, weeds, uh, what have you. Um, learn to use them. It's slow presentation and uh, always have a trailer on the back. Again, as you can see, let's put that full trailer back on. It's a chunky little bait. You'll catch some good quality fish on this. Um, Maybe have a few with a rattle, a few without a rattle. But killer, killer, killer slow presentation bait for bass next to a Texas rig worm or creature bait. Uh, these are unbelievable. Um, give them a try, guys. Get out there. Uh, grab a few of them. There's quite a few manufacturers. I usually uh, want to show you one other little tip here as well. These strands for the weed guard usually come out to here when you get them out of the package. Uh, again, this is, don't be scared to tweak certain baits, um, but I like to cut them down. So I'll just take that there and I'll take a scissors and I'll cut it. I like to cut it kind of leveled with the hook, still above the hook. Um, but I find that it just 
pops down a little easier instead of having something, you know, another centimeter above the hook. Um, and it's kind of rigid as well. As you can see, they're pretty rigid. Bendable, but rigid. So um, I like to cut them right across. Again, you just grab that strand and go like this with a pair of scissors and cut right across level with the hook. Flipping jigs are fantastic. Uh, for catching bass, you're going to want a, a few of them in your tackle box for sure. Try a couple of different colors as well, maybe like a pumpkin seed or a green, and always match. Uh, try and match your um, your trailer to the color. This one's a solid black. Used to have a little bit of blue flake in it. Um, blue flakes all come off, but um, I've got uh, a little kind of a blue flaky black on the bottom of that craw, and it's all black on top. So uh, flipping jigs, guys, give them a try for bass. They're fantastic. Um, and these are the ones that you're going to flip and pitch into those uh, dock areas and stuff like that. Uh, you may want to visit my YouTube channel, the Mfish YouTube channel as well. I've got a lot of videos on how to uh, flip docks and stuff like that, fish structures. So uh, hope you found the video helpful, guys. See you next time.